and he would sometimes tell me you need to reply to Donna because and she would send and she would send sorry let's see yes wow always in my heart how to blend the dark background into our page I do suggest to glue down pages because then we have this thick surface a surface that is allowing us to uh, work with heavy mediums add as much water as you want um, gluing two three even four pages in the old book sometimes together so glue some pages together and that's perfectly fine mm, I like to glue pages together as well because the book is filling up a little bit faster it's great to have your middle part basically secured and safe from any mediums going through now you can use masking tape you can use washi tape you can use paper as well honestly sky's the limit you can use whatever it feels good what you have in your stash what you have in your hand you do not have to use exactly what i'm using everyone was telling me marita why do you keep on um, making your life much more harder when trying to um, cut out the rice paper you can just wetten it and it's gonna be smooth and all do you know what I'm gonna do that as you have mentioned and let's see if it's gonna work if this t tip and trick will work of course it will it is indeed much faster to to get it out I'm gonna be using both of these flowers I don't have much of a plan except that I really really wanted to use this paper I really think it's gorgeous don't worry I'm not gonna step on that paper I will tidy up it's just like no I really wanted to use these papers like I think they're so gorgeous I I just love stencils I used to have a, a, every project would have stencils do you remember my old art journal pages how many of you are here from the really old times from the times where I would use products like um, sprays uh, texture paste lace art journaling with the very heavy mediums how many of you are from these times tell me are you since that long and actually if we could have a little bit of a conversation how long are you here on this channel and also um, I wouldn't be myself if I wouldn't invite you for the new channel. Did you know I have a new channel? And actually as well, I just found out recently that um, maybe if you are watching some of the uh, regular videos on the new channel, you don't see short videos like the short little content on, or vice versa. If you have only seen short content like the 10 second videos, you have never saw the regular video so I suggest you if I could have this huge favor and huge suggestion if you would like to be part of the new channel please go there leave me a comment on the regular video and on the one of the short videos as well and like some of them or all of them well some of them uh, because this way this will give a uh, YouTube algorithm information that you are interested in all the content not only the short format not only the long format and I know how it sounds it's like bragging dragging begging for likes or comments or subscribers it's quite far from that and um, I, the way I understand it is like what's the point of subscribing to something and then not even seeing the content so my suggestion is more for you to actually be able to see that content why not like if you would like to see how I painted oh I will be painting this today <laughs> this is my trial I was like I just painted it last night just quickly hoo -hoo, and I loved it so I'm gonna be recording this tonight but I wonder have you seen this gorgeous flower like it's such a little little beautiful picture painting and I think it's such a cute little lesson basically have you seen this one super pretty it's all on the new channel and the flowers as well are either on the new channel or, or some trial as well oh this one as well it's 
gorgeous and um, these are on the Instagram or the new channel I love them oh I must my favorite recent favorite the lavender do you remember the lavender we've done the lavender field I think four years ago it's great to compare because I compared myself I'm gonna try to uh, put the clip here somewhere here somewhere here so so you will be seeing oh ha, time to pick up Hannah from school I'm not even halfway down recording this uh, video I recorded field of a sip of coffee quickly. I recorded a field of um, lavender with the um, cotton buds for the ears, earbuds, and it's different because it was watercolors. This one is acrylic, so it's interesting to see. A recent one, it's this one with the little spark of eco glitter. I love the fact I discovered eco glitter. Would you believe it? Like eco friend, like biodegradable, biodegradable glitter. And this gorgeousness, beautiful flower. And this one, I love it. And I have no video on this one. I will recreate that, hopefully. So my beautiful, and I'm also thinking, how about making digital papers with these? Would you, would you like that? Should that be nice? Anyway. So a lot of is happening in the making, so if I can suggest you to go to Marami Simple Crafts, like some video, short and long, because they are shorts and they are long. So there are videos few minutes and there are videos few seconds. So my worry is that if you're not gonna like each of those types, you may not see all of the content. So just a little info and it's not bragging or begging, it's more like let's just have a chance to be part of the channel in a proper way so you can see everything. And the channel will grow as well and it will help out. Anyway, I feel that I'm talking about the new channel so much, but I also feel that it's a, such a great opportunity to learn new things. So, But with this channel, with my beautiful baby, I'm going to hug you here in the camera and I'm going to hug you here. Hug you. With my beautiful baby here, with this channel. Oh, Marta, chillax. I love being here. It's a completely different way of chatting. We are here like a family. You, you've seen me growing, you've seen my kids growing, you've seen the channel growing, you've seen community growing, changing, learning. Um, like even recently some of the crafters have been passed away um, and this is even like this this is touching and I only recently got an email. I don't know how many of you remember Donna. Donna Konavai, uh, her sister emailed me that I was a great source of inspiration and friendship to her and that she's gone and you know it's uh, it's quite amazing to understand and to realize that we are um, a family here and a, a community that means a lot to others you know to me as well <laughs> um, okay <sighs> <laughs> um, and Donna was also a channel member uh, she was she used to comment so much <laughs> on all the videos every video she would sometimes if she would miss the videos and she was she wasn't around for days or weeks I don't know she would come back and <laughs> watch everything and comment and she would leave all these essays huge essays she would email me m m things about um, my health, um, some articles about some, um, if there was some doctors talking about things, discoveries, um, issues and stuff and she would email me these things about Hannah's legs, itchiness, she would be very good, uh, you know, she would be very caring, so. Lucas just um, Lucas just said to me <laughs> that I spelled her surname wrongly <laughs> and that it's not Conavaya but it's Conway and he's crying <laughs> himself because he would read those emails you know as well 
and he would sometimes tell me, you need to reply to Donna, because, and she would send, and she would send. At every birthday or every Christmas or whichever she would send the um, online cards, like EU cards with the message, with the song, she would choose the design, she would write the beautiful wishes and she would she would send a lot of these e-cards by email, you know, so... A great loss. Sorry. It took a while, <laughs> it took a moment. Um, I actually took a moment, I actually went to my email to check the e-cards. Yeah. Um, if I remember while editing, I'm gonna add some of the screens. Some of them were for Mother's Day. And that was just nice, you know, just nice thought. Um, let me show you uh, what we have on the desk right now. Honestly, I'm gonna leave them as they are. I will not be uh, trying to put them in any sort of um, shape, rip them apart. No, I'm gonna just leave them. Let's make this super simple page. No. There we go. Awesome. Next step will be to add our clear gesso and to add our paper, um, our um, rice papers. Yes. There we go. And I'm gonna start with quite a generous amount of gesso, I must say. Now, what can you use if you don't have a gesso? You can use um, you can use glue, you can use medium, like gel medium, and not every gesso will adhere your paper. Some gessos have the tooth, sort of tooth that is kind of difficult to work with. It could be difficult to work with now. One issue I see is the issue with the white gesso. I have some gesso that I never used before. Let's see. Why not? I'm gonna add this white gesso here. And honestly, I'm gonna do quite similar of a thing here. Maybe a little bit. There we go. And also here because I'm thinking to add yeah, some of that here. Now you'll be saying, oh Marta, why did you do it? Why did you do it? Well, it's just so the paper is gonna be more visible. Because if I'm not gonna add it, if it's gonna be completely on the page, it's not gonna be as visible. And I would love this to be visible. Now, I'm gonna clean that. And what I will do is I'm gonna just have a little bit of, there we go, like try to sort of delicate this if you can. There we go. So it's near like a, a bit of a wash sort of thing. So I really hope we can still see the text. I don't know how much text we're gonna see, but I hope some of it, some part of it is gonna be visible. Now, there we go. And now we can bring back a little bit of gesso here again on top of that. That's a little trick for you to remember, that sometimes if you're not gonna add white gesso, you may end up with the mm, image not as visible, not as clear as you maybe wish to be. So that's a little tip for you. Now, there we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. Ooh, I could be on that side, right? <laughs> I could be easily on that side so you can see it. <laughs> it's so good to be back to you. And because you have loved this page so much, if you haven't seen it, please check it out. You love this page so much. I was thinking... Oops, Hannah. <laughs> That's my other phone. Uh, I was thinking that... I really loved it as well and enjoyed making that page. Wouldn't that be fantastic to try to use the same sort of principle and the same sort of process idea and come up with a page that would be doable 
as well in this sort of theme because I have to say I pretty flowers it's something that I truly love using I love it I enjoy it I really hope you're not hearing can you hear Lucas eating his porridge Lucas it's like one o'clock his breakfast He's worse than me sometimes. Like, I'm the baddest, as Hannah would say, I'm the baddest for eating breakfast, but I'm really trying my best. Like, really, 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 really trying. So, okay. We have our, there we go. We have our gorgeousness papers ready. Plenty of layer of gesso so we can definitely give it a great grip there we go now I must say that when I got the email about Donna, it hit me so hard um, and it hit Lucas as well because as I said he would be the one reading emails from her as well and I think what's the what's the most difficult is that you, you then really physically realize how life is fragile, short and you also do understand how much you can mean to someone and it's and it's quite I don't know it's quite weird in a way the email from the sister meant so much to me that she took her time to email me you know it was quite um yeah <clears throat> how many of you remember her she was also very active on in the cafe you know she really was always active in the cafe and she would also make um, purchases in our store and she would a lot of have troubles and asking me questions and I would answer help out and stuff because she wouldn't know everything and that's okay so I have plenty of memories with Donna actually even though it's the online friend people may think oh it's online community oh it's just you know it's not just it's like it's more than just and it's more than pe people have in life and it could be everything could be a lot could be so much and it is and I never 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 have um, lowered it down as in value wise of the community never have I treated this anything less just because it's online just because you guys are online or I'm online like my life is online present since a year it, 10 years <laughs> so you know it's quite it's quite of a life and it's quite of a time now so please mind yourself guys Mind your health. It's so important, isn't it? When I was drying, I realized that I haven't added gesso on top of that, those book pages. And you don't have to do it. I do it. I like to prime it. Gesso is like a primer. I like to prime it because then I can add any sort of colors and it's not going to be, it's just going to behave differently. I think it's going to, I think it's going to behave nicely, basically. I think that's what it's going to be. Interesting part will be to match some of the paints and mix the paints the way that we can recreate the color of our background. If we do that, the idea will be to go from the dark towards light and have a little bit of brighter part even whiter in the middle I don't know yet we don't know that yet we shall see so let's grab a little bit of color some of the paints no too dark obviously <laughs> this one seems to be too dark 
oh that could be just right the color not the best in mixing color and this is my this year sort of new year resolution for this year I really would love to learn how to paint how to mix colors how to do these things Ooh, that is a bit closer I guess this color to make it warmer let's yes definitely wow I have to say I love let's see yes wow I love the idea of filling those gaps and pretending that this color is like I love that after drying it may look a little different still still let's see which direction this is gonna take and my idea is to connect that background with I'll show I'll show you what I mean so my idea is to soften the background as it goes as it gets like it's dark now that's okay and then make it brighter or hmm I'll, I'll show you what I mean like blend in even better than that let's see let's see here that is so cool I love it I'm recently in love with acrylics um, I'm super in love with acrylics and in general I'm in love with all my supplies that I found since some time now since the new channel you know and it's quite inspiring to witness more color because I've lost all the paints it's inspiring to witness all these um, now products that I purchased over the years but I haven't been using them so I think it's awesome to finally to finally use them you know <gasps> look at it it's gorgeous you can create some shapes and stuff I love that oh wow so that's how you <laughs> that's how you blend in into your your page I'm getting rid of that flowerito maybe here as well and that's okay wow How interesting is this because for me it's super interesting I love that technique and now I sort of wish for this brighter colors come to play this is a little bit too much water so let's do that I'm gonna grab this dark again can I just tell you thank you for watching my videos, leaving me comments. You've been the most loyal, supportive friendship here on the channel that I witnessed over the years. And I keep on repeating myself, but I keep on thinking this and keep on being grateful. Can I just stop for one second? Look at this gorgeous text under the flowers. Wow. How to blend in the dark background. This is how you do it. I think it's amazing. Wow. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I think, oops, so, I think I will just get this one. Oops. Tissue. Honestly, thank you so much for being here for, wow for just just turning up recently actually after this video you know the video the video that it's here after this video many people came back to the channel and said Marta I've lost you for years I'm so glad that YouTube recommend you 
it recommended you back again to me. I'm so happy. I've lost you. I forgot. And I'm thinking, yes, that's awesome. So, are you the one that is lost and came back to me? If that's so, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. Okay. I Can I just say I love it to bits like? Can I just say that? Okay, so now is the part where I would love this to become brighter and brighter and even brighter, you know? Like really create a, create a sort of um, painting? Marta, did you just say that? Yeah, painting. I, I sort of feel for painting. Mm, I'm looking for... <laughs> for white paint but I may as well just be happy with gesso whoops I may just add gesso and that will be perfectly fine so and I love that <laughs> wow I love it so I'm trying to blend in I don't know what I'm trying but I'm just trying to pretend I painted this background and the flowers and everything <laughs> I haven't but I can try and see if I can fake it <laughs> um, you know what I mean, I'm just trying to... I probably don't do it the most flatter good way, but I'm loving the... the part, the, 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 the joyful... I, look, I don't add any color, any white, uh, any water. I hope you could see that. I'm enjoying this journey right now and it's amazing to just try different mediums and try different techniques and even like these journal pages I really um, like I would run away from the background of this sort and I would definitely try to hide my page uh, I would get rid of that gray from underneath it I would be afraid of that gray but look at it! It is like a canvas painting right now and I think it's just gorgeousness, no? Well, you tell me because what maybe what I see it's not what you see. However, I see a gorgeousness background, gorgeousness acrylic background that... Wow! Wow! Seriously! Wow! Oh my! Wow! Wow! Love it so much, you know? I love it! Now, the best idea would be to find some amazing, some amazing title to it. I've been thinking, 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 and you know what? Um, it just it just came to me like it's so obvious this video um, is dedicated to Donna whether I planned it or I didn't I haven't but it is going this sort of way so always in always in my heart uh, I'm terrible at I'm terrible at <laughs> writing my own things and like I always have been running away from writing my own things I would look for I would look for different uh, stickers I would look for different phrases I would look for stamps I would just do that however this time I think it's only f awesome to try and draw it by hand I already love it guys <laughs> interesting part of that is that I don't have good working white Posca however I have this one which has pigment in so what I will do is I'm gonna dip in into the pigment and hopefully hopefully this will work like a like a pro <laughs> It does work though, right? I love it. How about splashes? 
yeah I think the splashes are adding a little bit of that kind of joining everything together sort of thing but I think I just love the simplicity of it it's super easy super simple page yet it's a gorgeous one I wish you to see the text peeking through the petals and I love that the, that that was exactly the idea I love how we blend in the background working with a difficult dark background it's doable as you can see I hope you will join me for the next one thank you so very much my beautiful friends for watching for being here for your support for your love it means really the world and when I say it I really truly mean it thank you so much for being here I hope you will craft a little bit with me I hope you will try it for yourself and find inspiration in this super special page to me thank you so much for being here yeah mind yourself my friends and your loved ones till the next time